Good morning and God bless you. Here I am again. Aquí estoy otra vez. Buenos días. Que Dios les bendiga. I'm going to sing a song and then we'll go right into it. Voy a cantar un canto y luego empezamos. Uh, this song has to do with uh, uh, praising the Lord uh, when the sun rises and when the sun goes down. It's one of the psalms in our Bibles. I believe it's uh, Psalm 113, uh, verse 3. Creo que es el Salmo 13, versículo 3. From the Sorry, let me see. Let me find it. From, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord shall be praised from the rising. what we need to do from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same we need to praise him es como dice el canto uh, que desde el amanecer el sol hasta la puesta del sol debemos de alabarle uh, today we're going to go to colossians chapter 1 12 and 13 hoy vamos a ir a colosenses capítulo 1 el 2 y el 13 and i put up here i have moved uh, y puse aquí que me he cambiado me he trasladado de un lugar a otro you have gone to a store, a business, and sometimes when you're thinking that business is still there, you see a sign on the business door that says that they have moved to another location. Ustedes han ido a un negocio, una tienda, uh, y creyendo que la tienda todavía está ahí, a veces encontramos un rótulo que dice que se han mudado, se han cambiado, o han sido trasladados a otro lugar. Well, we as Christians have moved. Nosotros como cristianos nos hemos cambiado. We no longer live in the world. Ya no vivimos en el mundo. We're in the world. Vivimos en el mundo, uh, pero no somos del mundo. We live in the world, but we're not of the world. Uh, we have moved from the kingdom of uh, the devil to the kingdom of God. Nos hemos cambiado del reino uh, de, eh, del diablo, del mundo, y nos hemos cambiado al reino de Dios. I'm going to read the verses. Voy a leer los versículos. It starts with verse 12. It says, Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of saints in light. Dice el 12, con gozo, dando gracias al Padre, que nos hizo aptos para participar de la herencia de los santos en luz. Uh, verse 13, he has delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his beloved son. El 13 dice que nos ha librado de la potestad de las tinieblas y trasladado al reino de su amado Hijo. 
the second part, part of that verse 13, he, it says he has translated us into the, the kingdom of his beloved dear son. La segunda parte del versículo 13 nos dice que nos ha trasladado al reino de su amado hijo. Uh, we as Christians need to be grateful. Nosotros como cristianos necesitamos estar muy agradecidos. We need to be grateful uh, because he has done this. Eh, necesitamos estar agradecidos porque él ha hecho esto. He has moved us from darkness into light. Nos ha cambiado de las tinieblas a la luz. We need to be grateful because we were lost sheep, but now we have been found. Uh, we were like that sheep that had gone astray, but now we have been found. Uh, necesitamos estar agradecidos porque éramos perdidos uh, como ovejas perdidas y él nos ha encontrado y nos ha llevado de nuevo al redil. We were blind, but now we see. Éramos ciegos, pero ahora vemos. We were like that natural man that cannot understand the scriptures. Uh, neither can he comprehend them. Why? Because they must be comprehended and he, they must be born spiritually. Somos como aquel hombre natural que no podemos entender las cosas de Dios porque se han de discernir espiritualmente. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2.14, 1 Corinthians 2.14. We were dead in our sins and trespasses, Ephesians 2.1. Estábamos muertos en nuestros pecados y en nuestros deleites, como dice Efesios 2.1. But now we have been made alive, pero ahora hemos sido vivificados. That's why we need to be grateful. Por eso debemos estar agradecidos. Uh, we were orphans, fatherless. Uh, the word in Hebrews 12, 8 says we were bastards. Uh, éramos huérfanos, sin padres. La palabra en, en Hebreos 12, 8 nos dice que éramos bastardos. But now we belong to the Father, which is God. Uh, ahora le pertenemos al Padre, que es Dios. We have moved, like I said, from being in an orphanage, to being in the kingdom of God. Nos hemos cambiado de ser huérfanos en un orfanatorio a ser partes del reino de Dios. We were sinners, but now we are saints. Éramos pecadores, pero ahora somos santos. We, uh, God sees us as saints because he, he, the blood of his son purifies us, cleanses us from all of our sins. Dios no ve, nos ve como santos. Los santos no son imágenes, sino los santos son aquellos que han sido lavados en la sangre de Jesucristo. Uh, we were in darkness, cueless, uh, but now uh, we are in the light. Estábamos en las tinieblas, sin conocimiento, pero ahora estamos en la luz. Uh, we were the, without purpose. Uh, éramos sin propósito, but now we have a purpose, pero ahora tenemos un propósito. Uh, Paul says in Philippians 1.21 uh, that for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Pablo dice en Filipenses 1.21, para mí El vivir es Cristo y el morir es ganancia. So he has a purpose for living. His purpose in living is Christ. Él tiene un propósito para vivir. El, el propósito que tiene para vivir es Cristo. So we need to be grateful for a lot of things. Necesitamos estar agradecidos por muchas cosas. We were without hope, but now we have hope. Estábamos sin esperanza, pero ahora tenemos esperanza. We were without a seat at the king's table, but now... We are welcome to come and dine. Estábamos sin asiento ante la mesa del rey, pero ahora somos invitados a venir a comer a la mesa del rey. Uh, just like Melchizedek, if you, uh, uh, not, not Melchizedek, uh, just as uh, the, the son of, of Saul, así como el hijo de, de Sa, del rey Saúl, uh, this son of his uh, was lame, uh, crippled, Este hijo del rey Saúl estaba uh, cojo, es, no podía caminar, and yet uh, he was invited to King David's table. King David told him, uh, from now on, you're going to eat at my table. El rey David le dijo a, a este hijo de Saúl, desde hoy en adelante vas a comer a, en mi mesa. Uh, you, won't, you won't have to beg, uh, no vas a tener que andar apurado, no tienes que andar pidiendo uh, sino que vas a comer en mi mesa de una adelante. So that's the, there's a lot of reasons to be thankful. Hay muchas razones por las cuales debemos de estar agradecidos. Monday we talked about that God chose us. El lunes hablamos de que Dios nos escogió. Tuesday we talked about that he chose me and I am accepted. Uh, el martes hablamos de que me escogió y soy aceptado. Uh, ayer, yesterday we talked about that he has accepted me in the beloved son of God. El, ayer hablamos de que me ha aceptado en el amado Hijo de Dios. So I have moved. Hemos cambiado de, de residencia. 
I am in the world, but not of the world. Estamos en el mundo, pero ya no, estamos, ya no somos del mundo. Uh, so we need to be grateful. Necesitamos ser agradecidos por todo lo que el Señor ha hecho. Uh, grateful because not only have we moved into the kingdom, but he also will take care of us. Necesitamos estar agradecidos porque no solamente nos hemos cambiado uh, de las tinieblas al reino de Dios, sino uh, agradecidos porque Él va a cuidar de nosotros. Uh, the Bible tells us that He watches over the sparrow, uh, the birds, the lilies of the field. He, he closes them. Uh, la Biblia me dice que él, él cuida de las aves, de los cielos, uh, y Él también viste las, los lirios de los valles. And he says, won't he also take care of us? Y la pregunta que se hace Jesucristo, ¿no también cuidará de nosotros? Yes, he will take care of us. How many of you have gone to a plaza, uh, to a uh, center, uh, shopping center, outside the shopping center and to the parking lot, and you see birds there uh, go, walking back and forth, worried uh, about where their next meal is going to come from? Uh, walking up and down the sidewalk, worrying about where their next meal is going to come from. ¿Cuántos de ustedes han ido a una plaza, a un centro de comercio, de, de, de estacionamiento, uh, de, de un mall, y han ido a los pajarillos preocupados, caminando para arriba y para abajo, uh, no sabiendo dónde va a venir uh, su comida? Los miramos uh, preocupados, ansiosos. Uh, the birds are now worried about where they're going to get their next meal. In fact, at the start of the day, they started out singing from the rising of the sun. Uh, es más, los pajarillos no se preocupan uh, de la comida, de los alimentos, sino que desde el, desde el comienzo del día, uh, comienzan el día alabando al Señor. Desde el amanecer, uh, el nombre de Dios es alabado por ellos. So, they're not worried, neither should you. Ellos no se preocupan. Tampoco debieras preocuparte tú del día de hoy o del día de mañana. You shouldn't uh, be worried about today and you shouldn't be worried about tomorrow. Uh, we need to be grateful that God takes care of us. Necesitamos estar agradecidos que Dios cuida de nosotros. In 1 Peter 5, 7, it says, For you to cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. Uh, he will take care of you. En 1 Pedro 5, 7, se nos dice que echemos todas nuestras ansiedades, nuestros cuidados uh, sobre Él, porque Él tiene cuidado de nosotros. So not only has He given us a kingdom, a house to live in, but He also takes care of us. No solamente nos ha dado, nos ha dado un, una casa uh, donde nos hemos cambiado un reino, el reino de los cielos, pero también Él va a cuidar de nosotros. En Philippians 4, 19, we are told, My God will supply all your need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. En Filipenses 4, 19, se nos dice, Mi Dios, pues, suplirá todo lo que os falte conforme a sus riquezas en gloria en Cristo Jesús, Señor nuestro. So, it would be a sin for us to not trust God in doing what he said he's going to do. Será pecado en nosotros no confiar en Dios en que él va a hacer lo que él ha prometido que va a hacer. He's going to take care of us. We have moved from darkness into the light. Nos hemos cambiado de las tinieblas a la luz. We have moved from our old residence into our new residence. Nos hemos cambiado de nuestra antigua residencia a nuestra nueva residencia. We don't live, uh, we live in the world, but we don't pertain, uh, we don't belong to the world. Nos uh, vivimos en el mundo, pero no pertenecemos al mundo. Uh, we need to live like the children of the king. Necesitamos vivir como los hijos del rey. Uh, the children of the king have a promised inheritance. Los hijos del rey tienen una, una prometida herencia. Uh, and you need to say, praise God, I, I, I have been set free. Gloria al Señor que hemos sido libertados. And, uh, and we will one day live with him in glory. Un día de estos vamos a vivir con él en la gloria y estemos agradecidos por ello. Uh, we are not fatherless. We have a father. Uh, no tenemos, uh, no somos sin padre. No estamos sin padre, sino tenemos un padre. Un padre que nos ama y nos, uh, nos va a cuidar de nosotros. A father that loves us and is going to, to take care of us. Uh, I think I have a little bit of time. Uh, tengo, creo, un poquito de tiempo más. And I'm going to sing an old song uh, that uh, maybe some of you knew. Uh, voy a cantar un canto uh, antiguo. Uh, en inglés que uh, ustedes tal vez conocían antes, pero dice así este canto. No está en español, I'm sorry about that. No, ese canto no está en español. Put your hand in the hand of the 
men who calm the water. Put your head in the hand of the men who calm the sea. Take a look at yourself and then you can look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Every time I look into the holy book I want to tremble. When I read about the part where the carpenter be cleared the temple. And it causes me shame to know that I'm not the man I should be. Put your hand in the hand of the man who stilled the water. Put your hand in the hand of the man who calmed the sea. Take a look at yourself and then you can look at others differently by putting your hand Follow Jesus' example and uh, follow his, his ways. Necesitamos poner el ejemplo de Jesucristo y, con, y, y caminar en sus caminos. He didn't worry about anything, but he trusted God in everything. Él no se preocupó, Jesucristo no se preocupó de nada, sino confió en Dios por todo y, y, y en todo. Uh, so do the same. Haga usted lo mismo. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Uh, for this day, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, your name will be praised. Desde el amanecer del sol hasta la puesta del igual, Señor, su nombre va a ser adorado, glorificado, uh, alabado, Señor. We thank you for all your blessings. We thank you for all your provisions. We thank you that we have moved. You have moved us from the kingdom of this world to the kingdom of God. Señor, gracias por todas sus bendiciones, por todo lo que usted provee. Gracias porque usted nos ha cambiado y nos ha movido y trasladado de, del mundo de las tinieblas al reino de su amado Hijo. We're grateful. We thank you. Estamos agradecidos. Muchas gracias. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.